You'll be starting chapter 11 with a, an activity related to M&Ms and chi-squared distributions. So this is what you'll be doing today. Um, what we have here is what the M&M website reports to be true about the distribution of the colors of M&M. So 13% red, 13% brown, 14% yellow, 16% green, 20% orange, and 24% blue. The types of significance tests that we're running in this chapter are what's called chi-square tests, and they're all about the distribution um, as opposed to comparing proportions or means like we've been doing. So this is what they say the stated distribution is, and you want to see if it's true. Obviously, we don't have a real bag of M&Ms unless you want to go out and buy one. So you'll be clicking the link here that will take you to this virtual bag of M&Ms. And then you'll click here, and this will be what you get in your sample of M&Ms. So our sample 17 green, 12 red, 14 yellow, 24 blue, 15 brown. 18 orange. So you're going to get your own sample. Everyone should have their own unique sample of M&Ms in their um, bag. And then we're going to use that information to compare it to what's stated should be true. So you'll fill out your observed counts here. After you fill out your observed counts, you'll go ahead and you'll fill out this table here. This table is calculating your chi-squared test statistics. So you'll fill out your observed counts and your expected counts. In order to find your expected counts, you're going to need to multiply the percentage for each color times your total sample size. So if we look at my data here, okay, I had 100, 100 total M&Ms. So if I wanted to find the expected count for red, obviously pretty easy, just take 13% times 100. I observed 11 red. I would have expected to have 13 red based on the percentage that the company is saying. So you'll find your expected counts for each of your colors. You'll fill that in in the table here. So you're observed, you're expected, then you'll calculate the difference, square the differences, and then take your observed minus your expected squared, which is your difference, over your expected. That'll go in this table right in here. Once you do that, you'll sum them all up. That sum of the observed minus expected squared over the expected is your chi-squared test statistic. That's going to go in this box right in here. Then we'll go through and we'll write our hypotheses. You'll need to watch the Edpuzzle video on how to write hypotheses for chi-squared tests in order to do that. After you've done that, check your conditions, randomness condition, large counts condition for chi-squared tests. Say that all of your expected counts have to be at least five. Then your independence condition. You've already found your test statistic. Then you'll find your degrees of freedom and your, and your p-value. Degrees of freedom is just the number of categories minus one. You can run this test on the calculator as well. I want you to see how to go about doing it by hand, but you can also run it on the calculator. This is telling you how you can find the p-value on the calculator by using chi-squared CDF or to run the entire test on the calculator. If you're going to run the test on the calculator, you'll go to stat and edit. In L1, you'll put your observed counts, so whatever you got in your sample of M&Ms, and then in L2, these are not the correct answers, but they'll put your expected counts in L2. So observed and expected. Then you'll go to stat, over to tests, and you'll go to letter D, which is a chi-squared goodness of fit test. When you go there, you won't have to change your observed in L1. You won't have to change your expected in L2. You'll have to determine what your degrees of freedom are. Then go ahead and hit calculate. You'll get your test statistic, which is your chi-squared value, as well as your p-value. From that point, you can either, like we've been doing, reject the null hypothesis and have evidence of the alternative or fail to reject the null hypothesis and not have evidence of the alternative. All right, so just to recap here, first thing you're going to do, go to the website here, get your virtual bag of M&Ms, fill out the observed counts, complete the table in here. That will get you your chi-squared test statistic by hand. Then go through using that same state, plan, do, and conclude model that we've been doing write your hypotheses, check the conditions, which are pretty much checked for you here, find the test statistic, the degrees of freedom, and the p-value, and then write your conclusion in the context of the problem. Good luck. See you in class.